Hi coloring friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share some of the books that I am hoping to get to coloring in in the month of February. Uh, so I'm going to move this out of the way and we will get right into it. I do apologize for the glare. I am filming in the evening today and it's dark so I need the light. So the first one, and I should preface this with, um, I decided this month that I don't want to let my books, 10 books I would like to complete in 2022 to go by the wayside. So I'm trying to focus some of my picks on some of those books. So I keep on with that goal. Uh, so the first one is my lofty one, the Johanna Basford Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And so I went through the whole thing and I just decided that I think the best thing to do is just going to be to go in order. And so I'm going to try to tackle this uh, page here. So we shall see. I think this is one that might work well to tackle little bits at a time. So that might be nice to have something and maybe I pull it out one day and only focus on the cuckoo clock here or only the hot air balloon um, and then just, you know, chunk it up like that. So I think that will help my mindset too of getting through it. It'll be fun. And I'm excited to see it all finish, but it is a bit intimidating to me. So that's the one from Johanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Now, the next one is a book that I've had so long, I don't know. I think I got it as a gift a long time ago. It's called Puppy Love Color Art, and it is put out by Leisure Arts. And I do not see an artist listed in it, so... But I have this whip in here, and obviously I'm using Black Widow pencils to do it. Um, so I have this whip going, and I'd like to get that finished this month. I had hoped to last month, but I didn't get time to it to get to it. So we're going to try again this month and work on it then. So that's the Puppy Love Color Art. Then I have... This is another one of my 10 to color in 2022, The Mindfulness Coloring Book Volume 2 by Emma Ferrerans. And this is one that I kind of purpose to work on techniques in. And I flipped through and found this page and thought that it might be good to use to practice a neo color back background. I got those in November and I have yet to try them out and I'm intimidated to try them out. So I thought this might be a good book to try it in. Although I'm second guessing how I'm going to do it because originally I thought I'd do, you know, a multicolored background and then make the rings. Well, maybe I still will, but this, the circles reminded me of the Olympics and I thought it might be cool to do a Winter Olympics themed page so we'll see we'll see how that one turns out but I'm kind of that's a little bit of my inspiration for this we'll see how I can incorporate it with the neo color background but that's somewhat of a plan for the mindfulness coloring book volume 2 by Emma Ferrerans okay then another one of my tend to color in 2022 the Mandela's Coloring Book by Color Ya. And I chose this one here. It's just going to be a fun one to sit and do one evening with probably gel pens. So that will definitely be a relaxing moment. And that's the one I chose from Color Ya Mandela's Coloring Book. Then... Another one of my Tend to Color in 2022. I told you I was making it a focus. So this is the Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions by Hannah Lynn. And in this one, I chose this page here. And I plan to work on it during the Super Bowl. Now, I never, ever thought I would say this, but... 
because they are rivals for us, but the Bengals are in the Super Bowl, and I have some Ohio family that are big, big fans, and so I am going to be standing behind them and rooting for the Bengals this time around, and so I plan to color her in Bengals colors. So that's the plan. Now, as a diehard Ravens fan, it's going to be... uh. It's going to be different, (laughs) but there is another girl in here, so maybe next time around I will be coloring her in Raven's colors, but for this time around, we're going to go with the Bengals in support of my family who are big fans. So that's in the Whimsy Girls Celebrate Holidays and Festive Occasions by Hannah Lynn. And then I have... A Coloring Heaven collection magazine that I had ordered, and it is the food special, and I hadn't colored in it, and I haven't colored in quite a bit of my Coloring Heaven magazines, and I kind of want to make a point to make sure I'm doing that too, and this one is so cute and wintry with the snowflakes and the hot cocoa, and I thought that would be great to do for, uh... For February, so it is a marshmallow milkshake and it is illustrated by Old Chick Illustrates. So she was, they were the artist for this picture, and it looks like so much fun to color and super cute. So I know I'll have fun with that one. And that was in the Coloring Heaven Food Collection magazine. We're getting to the end here. I know I've got another ambitious uh, ambitious pile this month. Uh, this is the Garden Circles Adult Coloring Book by Tabitha L. Barnett. And I did complete a page in this last month. I believe it was my first page ever completed in this. Um, where is my marker? There we go. And I just picked this one to work on. Um, you know, another mandala style that will just be relaxing and fun to color in. I may try to do my, um, use my new Distress Ink, one of the new Distress Ink colors I got, and do a background around this. That might be nice. So that's my pick from Garden Circles Adult Coloring Book by Tabitha L. Barnett. All right, we got two more to go here. The A Million Cute Animals, another one on my Tend to Color in 2022. And I absolutely love coloring in these books by Lulu Mayo. So it was no stretch to choose a page in here because I'd love to have them all colored. And um, I chose this cute bunny here with all the, look at the, all the little cute bunnies and the picture too and the turtle it's adorable so I haven't quite decided what I want to do with it yet but I know it's going to be a fun one so that was my choice from A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo and last but certainly not least I have Tales from the Forest Kingdom illustrated by Hannah Carlson, and I just wanted to be able to participate in coloring a picture of hers and just show some support for her. Um, She, you know, has given so much with this beautiful art, and I feel like it's the least that I can do to show support for her. So I chose this page here, another more mandala style one. I think I'm feeling the relaxing mandala vibe right now so um so that was my choice from her book and I know it will be fun to do and um I hope to put it up on Instagram and um use the support Hannah Carlson tag that's out there so maybe she'll see it and know that somebody else out there is pulling for her so That is my pick from Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. And that is everything 
for the month. There may be a few other things. I have something in mind for my Coloring Outside the Book uh, episode for this month. And I, it's going to be sort of Valentine's themed. Um, and actually have not received the book that I was going to work in for that yet. So I can't show it at all. But that's a plan. And there may be other things here and there. But for the most part, this is what I hope to color in February. We'll see how much I manage to accomplish. Um, kind of depends on the busy, busyness level of life. So you never know. But I know I will for sure enjoy coloring anything that I manage to get to from this pile. So thank you so much for joining me and checking out what my plans are for the month. And I hope you have a wonderful coloring month too, or just a wonderful month in general. And I will see you in the next one.